Yeah, whiskey is probably okay to be back. We never reaction with no cat today. We got a little sad reaction. You know what I'm saying, RP Frosty. You know I'm saying, we got what happened to Sad Frosty. You know if you guys know who Sad Frosty is, he's literally an underground legend, bro. You know what I'm saying, made banger after banger after banger. What's cool, DC and all them niggas. You know what I'm saying, and yeah, you know what I'm saying, he OD'd or something, something like that. We're gonna say RP Frosty. We go watch the video, we can see what actually happened. You know what I'm saying, we go see if, like, you know what I'm saying, you know what I'm saying, yeah, the story behind it because I honestly do not know the story. You know what I'm saying, we go show the look at. What's good, cool, people? A chip. It's your boy Bobland bringing some bad news. We already talked about it on sad news, last not even bad, night bro. and posted on the second channel. By the way, I just want to let y'all know, not really sure what to post on this main channel, considering everything I used to post on here and make commentary, edited videos in the rap game, of course, I now stream about. So, like, please give me your suggestions in the comments. But anyway, in today's video, we're here to talk about Sad Frosty, who unfortunately passed away last Friday. Friday, I believe, at the age of 24 years old. That's just crazy, bro. I'm 25, currently turning 26 in June, which is pretty soon, I think, three months or so. So it just goes to show you how early in life Sad Frosty was when he passed away. Now, if you haven't seen my stream clip, essentially, Sad Frosty's main page, obviously ran by his management at this point since he is deceased. R.I.P. said long live Sad Frosty 3497, the date of his birth, and then the date of his death, 11422, which again was last Friday. Again, we already went over this, but there was still very little information on like what happened. People were suspecting an overdose of some yeah, that's what I was due told, to bro. a DJ scheme Instagram story when he was talking about a good friend also passing away from overdosing, but then it turned out to be someone within it, his own camp just coincidentally passing away at the same time his name was chubbs and apparently sad frosty and dj scheme were not cool like that even though they were in the same industry wherein everybody kind of knows each other it's like a high school but then Domus live news swooped in because he had a somewhat personal relationship with sad frosty and gave us a little bit of insight as to what happened firstly he tweeted today was a crazy day r.i.p sad frosty he was a good dude i met him when he was running an xss tentacion fan page and he was a fan of mine and we started chopping it up and became cool years later he started to do music and became sad frosty it was cool to see his evolution i remember he was excited to play me his album before it came out i thought he really did a banging project and he was so happy that he had a record and video with chief keith by which he actually has a picture with chief sosa himself on his instagram if you want to go check it out but anyway in a following tweet damas live gives us the answers we've been looking for in which he stated i know everyone is wondering what happened to sad frosty recently speaking to him i found out he was in rehab and that was shocking because he did everything so well long story short looks like he died of an accidental overdose just know that he was trying to get this is why you can't do drugs at all bro because like he was trying to get better but it he tried, he didn't try hard enough, clearly, you know what I'm saying? Like, no disrespect, but like, you know what I'm saying? That's why you should never do drugs, bro. No type of drugs, because you can get addicted, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, bro. It can end up bad, bro. That's why I say everybody watch this video, bro. Do not do drugs, bro. Don't matter what you're going through, bro. Just fight through it, bro, because life gets better and shit, bro. You guys, you know what I'm saying? You guys be doing drugs to hide from the fucking, from the world and shit, bro. You guys got to face your problems and stuff like that, bro. Get better. I wish his team and DC the Don the best because I know they're really going through it. Yeah, shout out them, DC, Brandon, Louie, all the people who live with Sav Frosty and obviously are best friends with him to be in his life every single day. He was in my 1v1 basketball video wherein I played DC the Don and off camera, we obviously chilled for a couple hours. Um, so I don't know him too well, but he was a very genuine and nice dude very happy up front but as i've discussed with some people about this situation is it's usually the people who seem like the happiest Facts. that these types of things occur to because they're kind of doing it in secret they have almost like a mask in the public realm wherein they're this super happy person but then behind closed doors they're going through their own issues so that's that just, you know the show check in on your friends check in on yourself because most people 
who die of accidental overdoses, obviously never meant to take their own life. Sometimes you just get too deep into it and your tolerance is so high before you even realize that you have a problem. But in Sad Frosty's case, it does look like he was trying to get better and beat his addiction. And maybe he came back from rehab and relapsed. And I'm not sure totally of the drug that he overdosed off of, but I assume because I've lost actually a lot of people in my life, almost 10, I want to say, Damn. from fentanyl laced Xanax, wherein essentially the person who's dealing or the person who creates the drug, they don't have to make the Xanax as strong. They don't have to put as much Xanax in the pill because all they got to do is put like a drop of fentanyl since it's literally an opiate that's similar in strength to morphine. And the last thing I wanted to check out is Sad Frosty's last TikTok post where it's a little bit cryptic, where he was essentially just shouting out Dante for helping him blow up the ADHD song. And then Dante and him became good friends. He even attended I'm Dante's wedding. And Dante was in the music video Loner. And this helped Sav Frosty blow up. That's because crazy, I'm Dante obviously bro. obviously has a huge following. But if you check out the caption of this TikTok, it says back from the dead hashtag outlaw. And maybe he just wrote that to allude to ADHD being a super old song, so he's like revitalizing it. Since a lot of his new fans may not know that, given it was the first song that blew up for him. But still, I feel like every time that somebody passes away, there was like some sort of hints from the universe, whether it be a coincidence or not, that something was going to happen. But yeah, That's other than true, that, I ain't do drugs, kids. They can get real, Bats, real bro. fast. Like how many overdoses in the music industry do we really have to see? Bats. You know what I'm saying? I think that's it for that video. I'm saying don't do drugs, but you know what I'm saying? I'll be frosty, but I'm gone. Okay.